So here's the deal. If you struggle with playing melodies, like you can hear them in your head and you can kind of sing them like da 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 da, but you really struggle getting it out on a keyboard or drawing it in the MIDI, bro, I just found a cheat code for you. Okay, this is not the video that I was planning on shooting right now, but I was in the middle of like prepping everything for this video and all of a sudden, I ran into this feature that I've never heard of before in Logic and I really wish I would have known it years ago, especially when I started. My mind is blown. This feature is a game changer. I'm telling you, like I'm not even exaggerating. I'm still in shock when I discovered this. So let me show you a little snippet of what this project sounds like. This song came out today, so link is in the description, but check this out. So let me give you a little preview. Okay, so you have a little preview of what the song sounds like. I'm going to mute the vocals. Let's talk about the instruments here real quick. Let's say I wanted to add some sort of top melody to this. Um, let's let's kind of figure out what that melody is. <laughs> So I have this melody that I want to add to it. Let's say I don't want to figure it out on the keyboard or I'm struggling to get it exactly how I hear it in my head and how it's coming out when I'm mumbling it. So first thing you got to do is record that melody with your vocals. So let's do that first. <laughs> Okay, so now we got this vocal in here. Okay, so we're just going to double click this and then we're going to go to flex, turn on flex. Then we're going to change this to flex pitch. And we got the notes here. Let's just get them uh, lined up with the grid. Here's where the magic is. You go to edit and then create MIDI track from flex pitch data. Boom. Look at this. Now we have a MIDI track with all the notes that I sang. Let's let's put an instrument to this. This is crazy. Now, I already finished the song. Obviously, it's released. It's on Spotify. It came out today. But this is something I might start using more often just to get like quick ideas out when I feel like I'm in the flow and I like mumble the melodies that I need. Instead of playing it, I can just sing it, get the MIDI, and then manipulate it. If I would have had this when I started making music, dang. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, this is not the video I was intending to shoot right now, but I will still be shooting the video that I intended, but this one will be coming out first. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Even after more than a decade of using Logic every single day, I had no idea this was a function. I don't know if it's a new thing or if it's something that existed like since forever and I just never knew about it, but it's definitely a cheat code. Did you guys know about this? Because I didn't. So... Anyway, if you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed because more videos are coming. Make sure you've got notifications on so you don't miss future videos. And as always, if you want to see more content, follow me on Spotify, Instagram, TikTok.
keep making beats. Yeah, I'm not